Hello everyone! So in today's video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet over Limousie crochet from center out. Uh, for this uh, video tutorial I created this new pattern mosaics. Uh, I used uh, two colors, both are from Hobby uh, online shop. Uh, so the solid color is um, white, Hobby Mega Ball, lightweight yarn. And uh, this beautiful colorful yarn is Manaya, color 02. Please note that this yarn uh, on the website is marked as uh, a ran weight yarn, but I think it's slightly thinner and it works very nicely with uh, lightweight yarn. So for your pattern you can use any yarn you like. What is important for mosaic crochet the colors uh, to contrast. So you want your color A and B to contrast enough to see this pattern. Usually Color E is background color and color B is your pattern color. As you see, in this case, both colors create the pattern. So it's actually, there is no big difference which color you will call your background or pattern color. They both create the pattern. What I want to show you, and I will cover this in... Uh, video tutorial as well. Here it is the corner where we change the color. As you can see, it's hardly visible and really looks very very nice and on the back side. And this is how the general looks back side. You see just stripes. No pattern on the back side. <laughs> okay, so here, uh, let me show you. Here, 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 yeah. You can see this is the square, doesn't fit to my camera. And way to the center, here it is the center. And we are working in the rounds. So let me show you step by step. We'll cover the basics. And I will show you a few rounds. How do we work this pattern? So, the pattern includes the legend where it is identified uh, each symbol and it explains what does it mean. The pattern starts with a magic ring. Here we have magic ring. Yes, and in the chart you can see only one side of your square. All sides and all corners will be the same. So here you can see the first corner. One side, we go this way, another corner, and then you continue again another side. You will read the chart right from here again, this row. Each row starts with corner. You can see around one starts here. You work into the magic ring. The, those will be all single crochet stitches into magic ring. Around two. Now, please pay attention that around number is written here. And around two is this one in white color. Where it is only one single crochet between the corners actually it's one back loop single crochet between the corners so for starting from around to here we have one back, uh, back loop single crochet chain one one back loop single crochet here into the same stitch this is our corner and starting from round three you will work this one back loop single crochet chain one one back loop single crochet into chain one the 
This small square with a circle identifies the color you have to use for this round. So white square is color A and gray or colorful. I printed in black and white so you cannot see the color. So the colorful gray one is color B, our pattern color. Now empty square without any symbol is all back loop single crochet and the square with X is our front loop double crochet work two rows below so you work in the round uh, sorry two rounds below so you work into the round in the same color also what i have to what i would like to to you pay attention always the first double crochet if the first stitch after the corner you see here on around eight we have corner here and first stitch after the corner we have front loop double crochet this stitch will go into chain one two rounds below so this is only if it is the first stitch after the corner or the first stitch before the corner okay and all this, they, are go, they go straight down. So here also it goes straight down, you see, but we don't have here stitch, we have here chain one. So it goes into chain one. And uh, what else? Oh, here the bold border is the main pattern repeat. So we have here around nine to round... 22 this is our main repeat so how you will work it when you finish this row uh, rounds from 9 to 22 the first time what you will do you will work around 9 again so you will start with this part which is before the corner so we have here one stitch when you will be repeating this this part and the bold border you will work three times and again the part after the bold repeat so only the corner same with all the rounds around 10 we will have here one double crochet one single crochet and again this part in the bold border three times so one time from this side to that side till you reach ball border again second time from the beginning again and the third time again only the stitches within the bold border okay so this is how the chart looks and it's really easy it's not complicated and let me show you how we actually work it so for this video tutorial we'll be using uh, the same yarn i have here a little bit left from my blanket look at these colors just like a rainbow and uh, white color for the contrast lightweight this is uh, also from hobby but it's not mega ball it's a small uh, skeins 50 grams so but it's the same weight yarn so what we do, we start with magic ring. Sorry, let me take out the rings because they make noise. Okay, sorry for that. So magic ring. Now, usually we chain one when we start uh, crocheting uh, the round with uh, a single crochet. This is really optional and I prefer not to chain one. I think the round one looks more neat. So you just try and see what you like better. Um, for round one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochet. Here round one, you see it shows 
the entire uh, round. The pattern also has uh, written instructions, so uh, it will help you to learn to read charts, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for round one, we are using color B. As you can see it's in the chart, it's gray color. Yes, so we tighten the matching ring. And what we do on each round, we take the hook from the loop and we close the ring with invisible join into the top of our first stitch okay so you insert the hook from back to front you grab the loop and you pull it let's make it all nice and tight here we go our round one is complete for round two we are using our color A, which is our white color. And we will have corners, one back loop, single crochet, chain one, one back loop, single crochet, one back loop, single crochet between the corners, and again, the same corner. So we attach new color with a slip stitch. What I like to do I tie this together with a knot okay and here we go so chain one to start and what we do always let me leave the tail i will not do anything now you can hide as you go if you want when working the first back loop single crochet you work under color b or a depends on the I mean other color that of previous round okay then you work one back loop single crochet chain one now you can leave this yarn out of the way and we need to work one more back loop single crochet so this is our corner one back loop single crochet into another into next stitch and next corner again one back loop single crochet chain one one back loop single crochet and again one back loop single crochet another corner one back loop single crochet chain one one back loop single crochet the stitch be in between the corners one back loop single crochet another corner one back loop single crochet chain one one back loop single crochet and the last stitch one back loop single crochet so what we have to do now again we take the hook from this last stitch and we insert into the top of our first stitch this is our chain one and this is our first stitch into the top into both loops you grab this loop of the last stitch and we tighten this nicely 
this is how it looks our round two so so far we don't have any double crochet stitches only back loop single crochet and corners but it's good for you to learn the technique again we switch to color B tighten both colors so what I do I just pull those two yarns to tighten up chain one and here again we will be working into back loop of our chain one and as I mentioned before the color of previous round we, we work and that yarn chain one leave that yarn and one more back loop single crochet so for this round we will have three back loop single crochets in between the corners and again the corner only into back loop of chain one if you cannot identify easily which um, which stitch weight is chain one use the stitch markers i already made so many of these squares that i learned to identify the stitches but if this is something new for you to be sure count and use stitch markers chain one also what i want to show you people very often say that uh, the square is some kind of not straight corners it's like uh, like this like this you know what is this word wonky one <laughs> i'm always afraid to use this word i'm afraid that it's a curse word or some bad word <laughs> but i was assured that it's not okay so when we work the first back loop single crochet over the corner you hold your project like this chain one and then before you work another corner back loop single crochet you turn your project and only then you work the second back loop single crochet it's important your stitches always go straight down so you don't work like this or like this trying to reach the stitch so in that case all stitches will be straight and nice and your square will have nice corners and you will be one happy person okay one two and now the third stitch uh, is not so easy to insert the hook you have to push those first stitches first corner a little bit so it's easier for you to access this back loop of the last stitch and that's it we completed this round again we insert the hook into both loops of our first stitch and we close the round with the invisible join slip stitch with another color and you remember what i told you make it nice and tight chain one and again when working the first stitch you work under the yarn of previous round one back loop single crochet chain one drop the yarn of previous round ten 
and one back loop single crochet. When I'm working my patterns and all patterns so far as as many as I created, all patterns start with uh, corners, one back loop single crochet, chain one, one back loop single crochet. So before I uh, look at the chart what this round says, I always make the corner because I know that it's always the same. And only after I crochet the corner, only then I look into the chart. So what do we have here? We completed round one, round two, round three. Now we have uh, round four. You see the round number is here. This is our first corner. And this round will be these stitches. So we will have front uh, loop double crochet two rounds below. So as I mentioned before, we will work it into front loop of chain one, three back loop single uh, crochet in between, and one front loop double crochet again into corner chain one space. Okay, so yarn over and we have to find where it is our this front loop of our chain one. Here we are. Our front loop double crochet. Now back loop single crochet three stitches. And again, front loop double crochet into chain one. And into our corner chain one, we crochet corner, one back loop single crochet, chain one, ten, and another back loop single crochet into the same chain one space. Now, as you see, when we have double crochet the first stitch and the last stitch before and after the corner, they will go into the same chain one space. So this is the only one stitch that will be worked into the same stitch two rounds below. One, two, three. Again. Front loop. Double crochet. And our corner. One back loop single crochet. Chain one. Then one back loop single crochet and another one front loop double crochet into the same chain one space. That's it. And Another corner. And here. Back loop single crochet, three stitches. And on this round, we will not be working here into the last stitch because our last stitch is front loop double crochet. So we work into the same chain one, oh, sorry, into the same chain one space, two rounds below. And again, invisible join. 
into the top of our first stitch of previous uh, or sorry of the same round slip stitch to change the color make it nice and tight and this is how it works so we had actually one round only with mosaic crochet but I hope you have the idea how it works uh, for the following rounds we will have front loop uh, double crochet stitches in both colors and in the A and in B and um, but you see all these first rounds, uh, let me show you, the first rounds are here, pretty easy, mostly you will be working only back loop single crochet stitches, only in the corner you will be working here, front loop double crochet. And uh, from round 10, it starts, we will, uh, yes, round 10, here we will have already three front loop double crochet so it is one front loop double crochet into chain one here two rounds below one back loop single crochet again front loop double crochet but in this case it goes straight down so it is into front loop of this stitch which is front loop double crochet back loop single crochet front loop double crochet and one two three four five six seven back loop single crochet what i like to do when i'm testing myself also when uh, my patterns when i'm working on the patterns on my patterns uh, my project myself uh, i count the stitches and i write it down if it is like many the same stitch I write it down so I don't have a recount uh, all the time so it's easier for me and you can make this square absolutely as large as you want you can work as many repeats as you want um, and uh, you can add border of your choice I added here some rather simple border with the shells I included this information into the pattern so you can read it you can see it the pattern is free uh, on my Ravelry and my eShop uh, you are free to download it uh, to try it and to practice and to see how it works for you and uh, I hope you will love overlay mosaic crochet from center out. I absolutely love it. You know, it's so easy. You don't need to cut these yarns. You don't need double border. And uh, it's really fun. And it's nice. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. You find it useful. And you will enjoy this pattern as much as I did. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.